What is up? Back at the ghetto place where we're fixing the water leaks. Um, now we're looking at a boiler. We thought at first that this boiler was just for the heating because they have a four pipe system here, chiller for the cooling and the boiler for the heating. Um, but they're saying they also, the domestic hot water isn't working either and we're trying to find those boilers. Uh, this is really strange. And maybe you guys have seen this before. I've never seen it before, but they're using the same boiler and the same loop of hot water for both room heating, going to the fan coil units, and for the domestic hot water. So right now, I found we found a bunch of bypass valves closed, and that's why this sucker was like overheating like crazy. Everything's worn out on this thing, including the flow switch. So now I'm just fine tuning the boiler because that's four stages that you adjust on the valves with four little thermostat bulbs that go to each one. And I'm staging them up. And then I'm gonna go check out some other stuff, but that is crazy. I'll show you some pipe the pipes again in a second. It they really are all interconnected. Never seen that before. Back in the hole. So basically. Figuring out this piping scheme, obviously this is chilled water, which we knew because of their sweating. It drops down and connects to this PVC. Part of that PVC is coming up out of the dirt. So that was pretty easy to spot. That is the chilled water loop. Here's the hot water loop. Goes up, upstairs, tees off or downstairs. Same thing with the cold. This is where those first company air handler type coils are gonna be in each room. There's a dividing wall. So they're right at the end of each room there and then you can just tell here there's a sink <laughs> here's a shower water there shower head from that copper same thing here shower head valves there sink here's where each cold and water stub up um, we did find the bypasses were closed so that's why the boiler wasn't working didn't have minimum circulation and bypasses down here were closed too. So every four rooms are connected off of each stacks. And then so you got sinks and showers and then in between each rooms then you got the chilled water and hot water there. Here's where we do the repair. So yeah, we're looking at this. So that line right there, see, it's that same line, same two lines. It's uh, supply and return, returns over here, I believe. That's the supply one, yep, because it goes to this hot water stack right here, which also tees off. It goes over to the sink, tees off over there, goes into the shower. Domestic hot water. And as we see down there where that was tapped in, these uh, two lines for the fan call unit taken off the same loop, the same loop, hot loop with return for the domestic hot water same loop of water that's being used to heat the rooms yesterday this was fun we're trying to find where uh this valve went that was on the side of that boiler and it's actually a drain here's where the pressure relief goes into the sink that's here in that pipe there's a pipe that's right there that goes that dead ends right there that's the drain for the boiler if you need to drain the pressure it just shoots water full pressure right out against this wall yesterday we had that drain in for a while and the water like flooded this thing like three foot, foot deep almost two foot deep and was coming out the sides <laughs> the guy's like hey we got water it's so like came in here i could think so here's the chilled water because the chiller's up there and here's our here's going into the chiller room and then that then it goes into that boiler room i'm in so got water flowing right here right now here's the fill line it looks like off a of city i believe Ties back in there, and the other one's a recircline. Got the door open. Up at this platform. You better watch your step right here. Remember a couple days ago, I was down there. There's where that sink is, and we were looking up at these steps. This uh, ladder here that we didn't. Nobody wants to use. So my coworker said he goes, "Well, I guess if there's a fireball chasing you, <laughs> you make an attempt to get up that. Other than that, you can try it." There's that line that's wide open right there. That's where the drain is for the boiler. So when I opened that sucker up, it was just shoot water out down there. That's just crazy. So, uh, oh, this whole platform's moving. 
It's pretty scary. Look at that. Hmm. <laughs> Who knows what's holding this sucker up? Yep. So this is basically looking down in the pit down there. There's a reset pump. Pulls the water from the return from the whole wing down into the pump. Back up over the old dinosaur chiller there. And goes into that boiler room right there. There are no air bleeds or anything like that. No PRV valve. A PRV. Yeah. So just all city pressure for that. This will be replaced with some new stuff here pretty quick. Ready to turn this battle barge on. Down a 97 degree loop temperature. It's a fast on all four of those on. 10 degrees before even blink. I still don't think they have that much recirculation. Minimum recirculation, because I don't think all their bypass valves are open. So as this teats up, it should start staging these off. 